In this next step, let's get ourselves ready to stake out points on line. So you can see that we set uh, points on line one, two, three, four, and uh, five down here. And these are enough for them to get started with whether or not they want to put up a full fence for the dog or want to do some other kind of enclosure. And then, of course, uh, I'm happy to go up and set some additional points if they need them. So let's come over here to Emlet Flow. This is actually running on my uh, phone, and I've got it projected here on the screen. In order uh, in the Emlet Flow uh, app to set out these points online, I actually need to have these lines in here. So I need to have a line from point 12 down to 20, from 12 to 11. Uh, this one has to be from point 35 or L5 up to um, L6. And I want to show you kind of how we create those and do those inside of Traverse BC. And we're going to send those lines over then to the Emlet then as a DXF. So let's come into Traverse PC here. And I did this in the field. I went to those uh, lot pins. Remember, we recalled those into a Traverse. And this is what we compared against the record. Well, it's also uh, the pins themselves that I want to send over for the line work. Because remember, I've made the surveying decision that because I found the existing corners, I'm going to stake out the line between those existing corners, not record position. So I want to send a DXF file. I certainly could come in and create another drawing for this because I want to send out just the line work and nothing else. Or watch what I'm going to do. This option says draw just this traverse. So I can have the drawing show just the traverse that I'm interested in. Let me bring this over here a little bit so we can see both at the same time. And let's go ahead and zoom extents on this. Now, in this Traverse drawing, I can set whatever I want. So I'm going to come in and tell Traverse BC that, you know, all I want to see for this is the line work. I don't want to see any of the labels in here. Now, because this is a temporary drawing, I can make whatever changes I want. And when I delete this drawing, I won't have saved any of those. So let's just drop in and uh, turn basically everything off. Let's not draw square feet, acres, or a lot title. Let's go into our control points, turn off all the line labels, any leaders. We don't need points, we don't need descriptions. We don't even need any symbols set for that. Now we can apply that and we see now we just have the line work. So we're fine with that. Then let's also come in and let's tell Traverse PC that we want to erase some of these things that we really don't need. So we'll go ahead and erase everything from the border scale bar there. Okay, and I think we just have to turn the border off. There we go. So now I just have the line work for this particular traverse, which is the found corners. So I'm going to tell Traverse PC, I want to export that drawing as, and we're going to save it as an AutoCAD ASCII DXF, the entire drawing. I can go in and set some of these settings because I do want 3D lines. I don't want to preview it after I'm done. And I want to make sure I send the survey units. So that all looks good. And I'm going to browse to where I want to put this. And uh, remember, I've got this data. So I actually um, exported it here. I said lot 19 found DXF and gave it that name. And now the, the uh, lot 19, I could have said record DXF. Those are the record positions. But I want to export the found positions. So I can go ahead and export that. Traverse PC writes that file. Now, if I want to see that, in the CAD view, here's what's in there. It's just the line work. So now I can come over into Emlet Flow and I can do this in the uh, browser app or I can do it right here. And I can say, go ahead and import that DXF. Let's go ahead and click the little menu here. This is the import option. So I can say, I want to import this DXF file. And as soon as I bring that in in the field, then I have this line work. So here's my lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 that define that property. And now those are available for me to stake out in the field. And now I can turn on the options in there to do stake out. And I can select this line. And of course, Emlet then gives me my location. And I just walk over to the line, make sure I've got a fix and hit record. And that's what I did for each of these points like POL5 and POL4 up here. So a real easy process 
once I have the lines uh, for the found corners over into Amlet Flow.